Hi, Matt here. In this episode, we build the uprights. The uprights connect the brakes, spindle, A-arms, tie rod, and push rod to the front frame member. After stress analysis is completed, we can start the process of building the parts. What you see here is the pattern that needs to be 3D machined out of wood. Its job is to make an impression into casting sand. An aluminum flask is used to hold the sand together while the pattern is rammed. Then it gets flipped over and the pattern is removed. There are two halves to this sand mold that need to come together in just the right way. Here in the 3D model, we can use cross sections to ensure a good fit between the two halves. The cavity and the alignment of the edges is clearly visible. As long as we can manufacture the patterns accurately, this is what we will get. Here you can see the part in the sand. It's time to get to work. MDF sheets are glued together to make the blank. That blank is machined by our CNC router and painted. Casting sand is rammed into the flask and the pattern. We use Petrobond or green sand. Then it is moved outside to be joined with the other half. Guide pins locate the two halves together. The aluminum is then poured. 15 pounds is used to make the rough casting, our largest casting so far. This is the rough casting after trimming and heat treatment. A grinder and a couple of air tools are used to trim away flashing and excess aluminum. Sandblasting provides a nice surface finish and then it's time to machine the features. We will use the router to put in most of the features. It has the right work area for all of our setups, and any hard to reach areas will be done in the mill. A small amount of WD-40 is used to prevent tool clocks. To control the machine, we use a left-hand keypad that is programmable. It is an easy and affordable way to set tools, home positions, and do fixture setups. We drill and mill our way from 8 pounds to 5 pounds, transferring the part from setup to setup. Indicate and run the next program.
27 hours later and the parts are ready for final finishing on the mill. Drilling, countersinking, and tapping finish off this part. If you like this video, then I think you'll also like our video covering how the A-arms are built. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And for more info, you can go to our website and Facebook pages. Links in the description. To help us keep making this content, please consider making a donation through YouTube or our website. It's been a long journey to get to this point. The front frame and body panels are next. Thanks for watching.